Whew. All right. Hi. How are you doing? If you are new here, come on in and give me a hug. My name is Mimi. And if you are returning, how you doing? Thank you for coming back. Hello to the new subscribers. Those of you who found me through my little super group sunscreen review. How you doing? So this is a, for those of you who don't know, this is another straight to YouTube video where I record a video on my phone that's supposed to be watched on your phone. So please do not watch this in HD and please do not watch this on your TV. I don't need you to see all of the things that are going on. So I really like doing these pared down, just talking, saying how I feel and throwing it up on the internet as is raw, like the way YouTube used to be, cause that's the YouTube that I like and that's what I still enjoy. I love talking videos. So you can watch this while you are getting ready, while you are cleaning. I'm just gonna ramble, okay? I have some things I want to talk about, get off my chest. So my straight to YouTube videos are very therapeutic for me. And they also like help me to be more consistent on my channel and share who I am. And if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. And if you don't, that's okay too. You could go on over to the people who put the funny memes and the, and the zoom ups and the edits and all of that things, because that's not really my jam. Like I wanted to create a space on YouTube for with content that I personally enjoy consuming. And I just love people. I love voices. I love the way people speak. And I love like people just sharing their thoughts and feelings on things because there are so many different people in the world. So I'm just doing the same thing. Being the change that I want to see in these YouTube streets, you feel me? Now, if only I could be consistent. Did I just shade myself? I cannot find my concealer. And we don't have time for this. I don't want to get up. Because with my straight to YouTube videos, what I try to do is I try to avoid um, editing the videos. Because that's when I get in my head. Because I'm so emotional. And I'm like a Libra. I overthink everything. And I be feeling some type of way. So I try to avoid editing these videos. So that I, I don't rewatch them and get hypercritical. And then not post them. Because I have hundreds of videos that I have never posted. Because I'm like... Your liner looks bad, one eyebrow is off, your concealer looks like this, that thing you said was dumb, don't post it. So Straight to YouTube has really been helping me just share my thoughts and feelings on things and like throw it up and then say like at the end of the day, if you bangs with me, you bangs with me. No, but for real though, I really can't find my, my, my Maybelline Longwear Concealer that I use for my under eye and it's upsetting. So I'm just gonna use a Mented Cosmetics um, stick. No, actually, no. Let's just do this. See, straight to YouTube, raw, real raw. No, here we go. We're gonna use the LA Colors Pro Concealer. Remember this OG from the, um, the YouTube days? For those of you who was out in the YouTube streets in 2010, 2011, you know, there's some products that really was out here and we all purchased because everybody on YouTube and remember, this thing used to shoot out water, and I was like, it don't make sense. Make it make sense, but all the beauty gurus were like, we love this concealer. Now you don't see nobody talking about this concealer. Nobody using this concealer. So did you really, did you really love this concealer? I don't know now, sis. So many products people used to bang with from in back of the day. Remember the B Enigma? stuff i never purchased that because i was a broke college student but they were all talking about this b venom stuff b enigma was one of those first brands i was putting money in all of our faves pockets or the vanity planet spin brush i think randomly i still see it but not like how i used to like all these products are like what's another one that people used to love and go up for on youtube that nobody talks about anymore hmm the freaking beauty blender got thrown to the side now like people use it but not like before before everybody was really front and like the beauty blender was the end all be all and that using any other brush was a waste um any other sponge and i was broke i was brokeity broke 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 so i was over here buying bootleg beauty blenders from forever 21 trying to make it work and it did not work and then I finally got the Real Technique one. I got the Real Technique one and I was like, yes, this is it. And then I remember when I finally had like the extra coin to 
purchase a beauty blender and i was like yes you know you really like after when the thing with this marketing world especially this influencer marketing space if enough people tell you it's amazing you kind of believe it's amazing just because everybody says it's amazing so your eyes play tricks on you and you feel like this thing has been the is like the best thing since sliced bread because all your faves say that it looks extra special and it does this special different thing for you and then like you're just like oh my god like with the fenty the the fenty um the Fenty Beauty Foundation, I was over here like, oh my God, my skin looks amazing. I look great. I look fantastic. Rihanna, yes, says Fenty Beauty. Da, da, da. That freaking foundation, I had dry skin. I have dry skin. Sorry, this is like running out and I literally am not getting up to go find my Maybelline one right now. I have dry skin. So that was not the right foundation for me. And then they're like, oh my, and then I was using the freaking um, primer and I was over here spritzing my face down with mad spritz trying to bring the moisture back because that was not the right foundation for me. There were so many shades and it was overwhelming and nobody was talking about the fact that half of us got matched by Sephora employees who don't know what they talking about and we was wearing the wrong freaking shade. Wearing the wrong freaking shade. What's another product that every, the freaking Laura Mercier loose setting powder? I mean, I'm not going for it. I still kind of bang with that though. But I was never like, I don't see my faves talking about the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder anymore. Everybody was going up for that powder and now we done moved on. I don't even know where everyone has moved on to. I personally love the Mented Cosmetics translucent setting powders because they are obviously they're a brand that makes products for darker skin tones. So their products, their powders are actually good for our skin tone. So I freaking absolutely adore it. But I just I just remember being in, in college and having like the bare minimums of money and then like throwing it at products. I don't even know how I went. I started going off on this, but throwing it at products because my faves were like, it's amazing. And I was like, maybe I can be a bad bitch too. And I could look just like you. If you know, I just could afford the products. Remember the Mac lipsticks? Everybody was out here with a night moth um, line. I'm getting a white line cause I'm chatting. The freaking white, the night moth lip liner, freaking candy yum yum, freaking ruby woo, freaking, uh, what's the other one, riri woo. Everybody was over here with a matte collection of glosses and I was like $16, but I'm broke. I'm young and I'm broke and I love you, Jackie Ina, but I can't buy this. Oh, yo, I remember when I finally got my first MAC lipstick and I went to the store and walked out with a little bag with one lipstick and it feeling like I am here. I think I got Siren, which was like this beautiful purpley color. Let me see. I think I got Siren MAC lipstick. It was like this really pretty. Um, No, it wasn't Siren. What was it? Was it Siren? There was no, it oh, no, it wasn't Siren. Siren was a color that I wanted, but I was like, I cannot buy any more MAC lipsticks. I don't have the money. But there was this really pretty bright purple color that somebody on the Instagram, uh, on the Instagram, on the YouTube streets was like, yo, we all gonna look good in this dark skinned women. This is when everybody was wearing purple, um, purple lipsticks and purple eyeshadows and stuff like that. So we all went and bought that purple lipstick. I wore that purple lipstick two, three times, and then it just sat there in my vanity looking cute. Because in real life, an everyday woman, I was in college on a college, a PWI. What were, where was I going with a purple lipstick? And then there was like this very bright pink one, this matte pink. Um, I wish I could remember the name. It wasn't Candy Yum Yum because Candy Yum Yum was too bright for my and i wasn't willing to try to make it work flat out fabulous i got flat out fabulous and i got something else because i was like i'm not getting candy yum yum because no 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 i can't try i'm not gonna get the i wasn't trying to pay the 16 dollars for the night moth lip liner i think i finally purchased the night moth lip liner and then i lost it very shortly after and i was pissed 
pissed and ever since then i was like i'm gonna go get some i'm gonna go get some some freaking lip liner from the 99 cents i mean from the beauty supply store for 99 cents fuck out of here yo these youtubers really had us messed up in these streets buying makeup that we really wasn't wearing like that and nobody talk about it anymore because i feel like like, sis, if you're watching this, you probably have some makeup staples that you've been using, like, for years. And you still grab and you refill and you get it again. Like, I know that there's, like, makeup junkies out here. But for all of, for those of us who was consuming makeup junkie culture and, like, enjoyed watching makeup videos but then fake try to be makeup junkies but didn't have makeup junkie coin, it was tough. Because I really had to pick and choose which hype to get into. And like most of the hypes that I fell into, I was like, this wasn't worth the money. Um, the Fenty matchstick though, I say, I stand by this. This is actually amazing. Like, I don't know how much of a hype was around this, but this is not that long ago. Because the Fenty hype definitely has like fallen down. I think unless you one of the mega influences that Rihanna is flying out, the Fenty hype generally, I mean, people still fuck with her glosses, but the new um, eyeshadows that came out, I wasn't really feeling it, but I do love a matchstick. So right now I'm getting ready to record a um, YouTube video because I got some stuff from Shein. They're in a box right here. I'm very excited. I got a bunch of shoes, so I'm trying to record a really quick and cute haul. Um, I know I got shoes while I might do my makeup, but listen, the coronavirus has gotten me in the house for days. I've been home for the most part, except for when I go to the gym, since Thursday because I'm working from home. So I'm like, you know what? Let me do my makeup and make some content. I did a lot of work earlier today, so I was like, I deserve the brain break. Um, and I'm alone. This blush, how beautiful was that? Did you see that? Did you, that's, this is the mented um, blush. Remember Mac Raisin? That was another one that I went and purchased. No, I'm lying. My mom purchased it and I stole the Mac Raisin and I was obsessed and I used it till I hit pan and my best friend was like, it's time for you to get a new bra thing. And I was not following, I'm, again, this is me speaking on my, my 19 year old self. I was not following that whole, your makeup is expired. I'm like, listen, I remember how much I spent on this and I'm gonna use it down. Shit, I probably still do that now. I definitely broke this and I know there's a hack to fix it. I just haven't done it yet, but I love this. It's like the perfect blush, like, ugh, it shows up well on dark skin, like warmth to the face, like, ugh, love this. And then I also like the mented peach for the stars because it's shimmery and I like to put that on the apples of my cheek. So if you notice, I put the blush like this and then I, um, the, the red blush, and then I put the sparkly one on the apples of my cheek. Boom. I'm getting alerts from Instagram, so I'm trying to ignore them. So where are we? Where are we? So basically, this is my everyday base. Like, this is what I always do to my face when I do my makeup. We just need to add um, a little bit more powder to some parts. I have to get up. Damn it, I was trying to avoid getting up. I forgot my little bronzer palette. I will be RB. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be right back. I could not do my makeup without. See, I refuse to get up for my Maybelline, but I am. I'm. I'm like obsessed with this palette. It's from Bold. Wow, it's from Black Radiance. It's the Bold and Sexy palette. They collaborated with Jessie Wu. Now, I haven't played with the eyeshadows yet, but really, as you can see, I'm very much into this part of the palette. And I think it's pretty affordable. Definitely less than $20. 12 eyeshadows um, with a matte glitter and pearl finishes, illuminators, and um, blush. Love this. So I really use these two a lot especially and i use the illuminators as well so i'm going to take a brush and take this light color and just like dust under my contour i don't like creating too much of a harsh line but i still do want to define under the contour a little bit so that's what i do i use a lot of powder to like blur and make everything soft and beautiful 
again you know i have dry skin so i can't get too crazy with the powder so everything is very like light taps light sweeps things of that nature but yeah i just took a trip down memory lane with all these products that we used to go crazy for i used to sit in my freaking dorm and i'm using the dark color for the contour because it's really really warm i used to sit in my room and like pine over these products that these influencers would talk about remember when shape tape had a moment before it was canceled shape tape was good though i'm not even gonna hold ya i really personally was not really offended i think it's just now that i work in the beauty industry i've been learning to take my i work for a, a skincare company i've been learning to take my emotions out of things and think about unfortunately it really do just be business like as much as you want to be considered like in sheer volume we are the minority so they're gonna go after the people with the more numbers unless it's specifically a, a product or a brand that is specifically going out of their way to target a specific group when they we talk about the sheer volume and number of people in this country they're white especially so brands are gonna see like let's judge the success of it with our largest population and then make it and i understand for a lot of people it's like why are we the afterthought blah 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 blah. it's wrong i don't like it but i understand it now that i'm in the rooms and i, I hear the conversations and i see the and i see and i'm not speaking about my job for i currently work i'm speaking about all the places i've been in and in the industry where we are an afterthought like often like as black women, I feel like I just got mad deep. We And I couldn't put my finger on what makes us the afterthought. And oftentimes we're not considered in the product development stage of a product. So once you're not considered when the, the, the conceptualization of a product is happening, you're not gonna be considered in the branding and the messaging and the packaging. You're not gonna be considered in um, the price range of it. You're not gonna be considered in where it's sold you will be considered when it's time to market the product. That's that's the, I think that's the source of a lot of the issues in the beauty industry. But are we here to talk that deep? We just doing stuff, we just talking. So I'm using this Ecle, Ecle, what is this? Elise, I don't know. I got it at, um, I got it at um, BeautyCon LA, TBH, like, I just use it, it's fine or whatever. It's really finely milled and it's a nice little highlight, but I really want a highlighter that I could say that I absolutely love and I haven't found that yet. I just have it. And then I also be using another thing that I got. This is from Winky Lux. It's a strobing balm. Um, I can't use too much of it because hello, it's like pink, but I usually put a little tappity tap, tap, tap on my nose. I love makeup like it's so fun and therapeutic and I hope that you're doing your makeup uh, with me but I will say this like there's a dark side to the industry and until we're being considered um, at the con until we have jobs in those places why like it's kind of like we expect to be included in things and but we expect other people I don't know how to explain this without getting too pro-black on my channel and like too intense, but I really look at everyone and people and different ethnicities and races as like tribes, right? Because I'm West African, everything is very tribal and everyone is very do for self and my people. And it's like, we get very angry at white people for wanting to do for self and do for their people. And we expect them to consider us and think of us as if we were their own people. And like, yes, we're all human beings and like life. And we're like, we're all Americans and like, we matter. I totally agree. But I think what it's time for us to start thinking about instead of being angry and constantly complaining, I had to get off Twitter because everybody on there, all y'all want to do is point out what everybody's doing wrong. And if there is definitely a, a place for that and a need for that. But for me, like it was just getting too dark and too heavy and on my back. For me, it's like, I'm going to put myself in a position to, to do something. So it's like we can't scream at brands like Tarte for not considering us. And nobody's out here trying to go to school for product development and get a job inside of Tarte and make sure that we're considered at that stage. You know what I mean? Like, 
you're in science, you love beauty, why don't you think about getting a job in product development? We don't even know these jobs exist. There's a lack of education, and again, these things are not our fault, but I feel like in the beauty industry, if you really wanna make a change, you gotta get in those offices, you gotta get in, in those rooms to expect your, to be considered off the, the because it's the right thing. When people are talking about millions of dollars, I think it's foolish and a waste of energy and time. I love influencer marketing and I feel like black influencers don't get enough of what they deserve, even though some of y'all be walling, but that's another conversation for another time. I decided, well, then there needs to be someone like me on the back end, making sure that eyes go to the, the influencers that are working hard, that deserve it and that they're considered and that they're talked about and they're, they're not tokenized. You know what I mean? Because I'm speaking to you and I'm not tokenizing you. I see you and your value and I see all of you and your value. And I'm not going to just get like one person that looks really good. That's going to look really good for the brand. You know what I mean? I say all of that to say we need to like, oh, God, let me just unplug this charger because now y'all seeing all my wires and it's too much. I'm still trying to figure out what to do about these wires. I should have ordered like a TV set, but I was being cheap and I just got like a wood floating shelf thing and thought that that could hold up my cable box and then I didn't think about the wires so like this is a mess and I don't need you to see all of that I have so much wall space literally don't know what to do with it don't know how to decorate it can't make a decision because I'm a Libra but that's not what we're talking about right now um yeah I hope what I'm saying makes sense but it's like we want to be given a lot in my opinion and I know we deserve to be given a lot because so much was taken from us, but I think it's more empowering to think about how we can take control and how we can make sure that our voices are heard. And it's not just us having Twitter fingers. And it's not us just like banning the use of a product because Tape Shape is still selling. Like, yes, you see those numbers on Instagram that talk about how much money black women spend, but Let's look at the number of how much white women spend in comparison then. They're like the business people are going after dollars, period. And the country has been set up so that the dollars are over there. So then it's like, so of course, somebody called me while I was recording because that's what people do. And I never put my phone on do not disturb because I always forget until I get the call. Um... I'm gonna finish up this video and then get started on um, my haul. So I put my lashes on, did my liner off camera, put on some highlight, and I'm gonna play with these mented, these new mented liquid lips. Like, they're so pretty. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's very pinky, but let's just try. This is the shade peachy keen i think i have their lipstick in peachy keen and i really like it yeah this is it mented makes really great and this is not sponsored they just make really really great products for women of color so so i have a lot of their stuff and this is without a lip liner obviously I'm gonna put on a lip liner just to make it even more, but how pretty. Baby, like my lipstick? Mm -hmm. He ain't even look at me. I'm gonna just use this. This is Hot Date. I'm gonna use Hot Date around the out perimeter of my lip. Oh my God. So pretty. Yes, I feel like uh, before I got cut off, I got cut off again. So now I have to edit this video because it's like three long clips. Yay, I'm so happy about this. Yay, yay. So much for straight to YouTube. Very, very annoyed, very annoyed. Anyway. So that concludes my get ready with me. Now I can finally record my, um, that's my husband. Who's to say hi to the people on YouTube? Hi guys. Um, 
Are you going to the gym? Yeah. Are you flexing on me? I mean, spray down. Because I like to look a little shiny. And all the powders with my dry skin, you already know. Anyways, I'm going to go change and record my haul. I hope that you enjoyed this get ready with me video. I hope you got took a trip down memory lane and remembered some, some products. Let me know a product that you was lusting for that you probably didn't buy. Or a product you were lusting for and you did buy from back in the day when YouTube was in its like heyday. And everyone was buying products because of beauty gurus from the booty gurus as a lovely jojoba likes to say anyways i'm signing off i will be back with another video make sure you like and comment and subscribe um as always you are bombing up for watching stay beautiful bye